one will launch a Robert story. I'd particularly like to welcome some very honoured guests today who don't normally have a out here. Um, the Honourable Winnie Lehman, who's our local MP as well. Uh, and on behalf of the Minister of Māori Affairs, Lewis Moore, welcome to our team. Uh, Jenny Rash, the Mayor of Porirua. Richard Bentley, in front of his chairperson of the Carter Observatory. Uh, Paul Moss, who is taking photographs, <laughs> who's one of the photographers who works with him. Uh, Robert Shaw, who wrote the book. Ken Harrop, who's the commissioning editor from Pearson's. Janine McGrady from um, Pearson Education. And Anuru Reddy uh, from the Wanak, which we've been closely involved with the book. For, and also I'd like to welcome the Year 11 Science class that Ms. Lane should be teaching at the start of the day. But I know they finished an assessment last Friday, and so this is a bit of a life to leave for before they start to run up the NCA external. Um, you probably don't know, but, but Robert Shaw was on the board here from 2001 until 2004, and he was really interested in education and in curriculum sense of it, and wanted to know all sorts of things about what we were doing with curriculum. And for him, science and astronomy had been a passion, and they certainly were when he was on the board. And through him, we got involved with the uh, credits that were available through the Carter Observatory. And in January this year, Robert asked me to have a look at one of the first editions of the book and give him some advice, which he will probably tell you I did um, fairly bluntly. That would be fair. Generous. I remember in my kitchen sitting there saying, now come on, Robert, you can't do this, you've got to do this. And, and but some of it may even have happened. Um, so I think this is a wonderful resource for schools. Anything that gives students um, a broader aspect and looks at, at things in a different way is always useful. And in this book, as you'll see shortly, um, there is some new information, some perhaps some repackaging of information in relation to Māori astronomy and Pacific astronomy, which I don't think we've had access to before. <coughs> so it's a wonderful resource for schools. Robert, I congratulate you on having it, and I thank you very much for asking to launch it here. We're delighted to have you. So welcome, and I now hand over, hand over to Tip to address the books. Tip. <coughs> Please bear with me for the girls. This is not easy for me, but he does. Tene yo, tene yo, te hokai nei yo kuta hokai. Kote hokai muku kote hokai rangi kote hokai ato chipuna tane nu yarangi. E ka piki chai kita rangi tu ha ha kiti hi o mano. Ka rupi na chura ko yo te ma chua kore na ke. Ka ri rohi wai na kete o tawa na ga. Kote kete chua uli kote kete chua te a kote kete aranui. Ka chiri chiri a ka pau pau a ki papa chua nuku Ka puta tira tanga te ki te whai au ki te au marama Chi he wa mauri ora Te kaha ho uita ho tai tai ha tangaroa Te kaha nga machikuru nga machikara nga taheru nga kai nga toro Taka nga ki ahure iti ui ui ki ahure ito awa Tō mataka te tiro tō mataka rara paka rara paka iti puto nga ha Ko ngā hai te puta, ko ngā hai te rogena, ko ngā hai te waro. Hū hū, taku moka, hū hū, taku wariki. Ko te kaha ngā wiwi, ko te kaha ngā wawa. Ū hiwero, tau mai te mauri, hau ie, hui e, tai ie. Ko a hau atuna, ko te toki ki te upapa no tāne. Ko a hau atuna, ki te rumai te rākau. Ko i a ko atuai ni ki rāra mā, te tahi moka puna. Chi chiri au ki runga, chi chiri au me hewai. Ko runga runga ka runga waho ka runga ya tahi chunuku ka runga ya tahi taragi. Tēnā tō chitau e runga mā tāne. Tāne ka rutu tāne te ata. He toki tau, mina mina he kua ya e te toki. E ka chuku a te hau atu. Ko te toki a rua te pūpuke, ko te toki a rua te mahara, ko te toki a moe tū, ko te toki a moe te whita. Ko te toki a pō mako uri, ko te toki a pō mako tea. E nga toki ka amohia. Ko te toki a karahi, ko te toki a tāwhaki. U hiwe o tau mai te mauri, hau ie, hui ie. Tāi ie. Ka wā te whakamara nui o atua ko atua. Ka wā nā ko te papangura tangaroa. He hengi hengi he kūkū ma te whangai nui ai ki te whakatūtū mai te rangi. Aue ki ko wai te ingoa tēnei tānga. O tātai aru ringa te aroa. Mā wai rā tēnei tōnga, mā mā te whatoa. U hiwe rā tau mai te mauri, hau ie, hui ie. Tāi ie. Tēnei au, tēnei au, te hōkai nei aku tapu ai. Whano wau ria ki ngā whano wau mahea. Whano te au kawā ki noto nei, whano te raka ki wahorā. 
ジリジロガチュジロガマチゲチゲジロガマラガラガでポーハーコネマイテポーハーコネアチコトワルビタフリマイコトワルビタフリアチでクラマーホキオキサガレワアタライフェヌワクラギュウリュウマイクエキテネイフェヌワオウエキファンのファンのハルマイコテトキチュウマイコテホイウルギハウイエフイエタイキエごたい、uh, Ladies and gentlemen, teachers and staff of the Altea College,、uh, thank you for listening to me do the blessing on this most precious hour. As you all heard, I recited a multiple number of karakia, ancient karakia, to bless this beautiful tanga. And during the, the recitations, I asked two very, very important questions. What was the name of the tanga? And the reply was Tata Yaranagi Aotearoa. The second question that I asked was for who? Was this Tauma created? And the reply was for us all. To use this Tauma, but not to own it, because it is already owned by Polynesian people from where Winnie comes from and by us, Aotearoa, Māori. But the Tauma is for each and every one of us to use, especially the sections. That deal with Tatarangi, Pacifica, and Tatarangi, Maori. This indeed is the most challenging resource, and it has been researched and written up by a number of scholars, including myself, under the expert guidance of the author Robert Shaw. Kia ora, Robert. Kia ora. Mai te ngako te ngako. Aroha kia. The passage that I wrote is just a teaser in a manner of speaking. It has, been, it has a deliberate bias in that it is focused around the ancient art of wayfinding without instruments, as practiced by Polynesians and my Māori ancestors in ancient times, goodness knows for how many thousands of years. We here in Aotearoa are most fortunate indeed in that this knowledge and the practical use of it has been recovered from the past by some very special people like Dr. Hector Busby, like Mr. Jack Thatcher, a fearless man who I'm very, very proud to have served under and will continue to serve under his captaincy. Like Mr. Stanley Conroy, who is at the present moment the captain of Te o r e r e Waka, which is a real delight to serve on. And I hope in the not too distant future that some of you young people will get the opportunity, because of this beautiful tower, to serve on her and other Waka h a u r u a just like her. Ngari Murire Mataranga Māori consultants will do everything within their power and their ability to write up <coughs> packages appropriately、uh, resources that will help to totoko this kopapa for teachers and for students and indeed for our community right throughout the length of this country and throughout the Pacific. We've been in a collaborative process with people from all around the Pacific as far as this knowledge is concerned, and I'm so pleased that it has come back to us from the past. No use going out into the ocean and your GPS batteries go flat. What do you do? Hopefully, an in depth study of what's produced in this booklet and the resources to follow it will help you. 
understand you're never without hope. Even out on the ocean, you can see nothing but the sky, the horizon, and the sea. This knowledge will help you, those of you dare to chose or opt to study it, will in some date in the future understand what I have just said here today. Our Māori ancestors never had access to GPS. Our Māori ancestors never had access to the compass. Their compasses were fed into them from a very young age into here, to here, to here, to here. So, before I invite the minister to do a thing, I just wanted to thank you, Julia, for show, allowing us to use Aotea College to launch this, this book, and of course, to congratulate you on your new position. Well done, and I hope you enjoy your new position. Uh, thank goodness we haven't lost you. You're only just down the road anyway. I'm sure I'll get a college again to miss you, but congratulations. When I look around me, I see some very, very important people from Kaido. We have Richard. And Robert, I really want to thank Kaido Observatory. And I'll tell you quickly why. This time last year, I waltzed in the Kaido Observatory office and I asked Tamsin, I've got something to show you, the star compass. And she says, oh yeah. And she says, um, and I want you to teach me something a little bit more about the stars, so they can help me understand this body compass a little bit more better. From that moment I showed her the star compass, we both knew that modern science had something that Tata Aurangi wanted, and Tata Aurangi had something that modern science wants. Hence, the production of this beautiful tongue. A stout. As a result of our meeting and many others, a bicultural program is in the planning stage. Planning stage with Carter Observatory staff and the one on And I hope those, that collaborative <coughs> approach, Richard in the future, bears fruit a little bit better than my efforts. But I will try my very, very best to see that resources to help to do what's already been started, Robert and many others, and Ken, um, so that this knowledge is never ever lost again. Nā reira, anui e nei kōrero kia tātai, ka angata ku kono hi, a i te tua tahi ki te kufananga, a kia koe Louis, Thank you for coming and, and, and making our day a real special day. And we are in Kiyoku Mato Tukuna. Kamitahana,
I'm really honored and humbled to be here this morning. And the reason why we greet you like this is because New Zealand is part of the Pacific. And for many of our ancestors that traveled from long distances, they either traveled by ship, or they traveled by plane, or they traveled by waka. And New Zealand is part of the Pacific, and we have this wonderful ocean uh, that is the biggest swimming pool in the world. And we are all islanders, when we think about it. This is our home, this is our place in the world, and this is Oceania. And have we got a magnificent place and a magnificent journey and a magnificent pool of knowledge to share not only amongst ourselves, but also with the rest of our region and with the rest of our world. So it's wonderful to come to be part of this wonderful celebration of a resource that's been put together by Pākehā people, Māori people in the Pacific, because we are family and everybody has a contribution to make and everybody has knowledge and skills that can enable the stories of all of our peoples to be told. And knowledge is not restricted to one culture or one group or to Europe or to the Americas or to the Africas. Knowledge is also comes from our place, our place Oceania, the Pacific. So thank you very much, Anaru, uh, for the wonderful welcome. And I also wanted to acknowledge our mayor, uh, who worship the mayor, sure. Jenny Brash, but also the principal um, of Altair College. And certainly we're losing you to down the road, but it'll be very good for the Wellington <laughs> <laughs> to, to use our wonderful resource because all of our children can benefit enormously, you know. And I wanted to acknowledge the principal, uh, sorry, Ken Harrop from Pearson, Education, thank you, Ken. Uh, Richard Bentley, the chair of Carter Observatory, and of course our author and man and men of and women of the hour, Robert Shaw. Thank you, Robert, for the wonderful mahi and the wonderful vision to enable the different perspectives to be told. I wish I had this when I was at school, but never mind. Education is a lifelong process, and also to Amadou. Amaru, um, thank you. Tatai Aromani. Uh, thank you for the Māori section, but also I understand you provided a lot of the, the artwork. Because it is also about pictures and stories. And so thank you. So when I think about knowledge and the way we learned at school, you know, we sort of learned about the Vikings. Uh, they were pretty good sailors. <laughs> Some of us probably descend from the Vikings. <laughs> And the Portuguese weren't bad in, in their day either. And for a period of very recent history, Britannia ruled the waves. But for my mind, and for all of us here now, as part of our beautiful region, there's no doubt who the greatest sailors of history were. Let alone the Kiwis have done well at the America's Cup. But long before France Drake or Vasco da Gama were household names, the Polynesian group had sailed the world's greatest ocean, which is our ocean, and landed on virtually every scrap of land in the Pacific Ocean, which covers one third of the Earth's surface. They did this without charts, without sextants or GPS navigation. They used tata, 